It's Hop Along Cassidy. With action and suspense, out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The Ring of the Silver Spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hopalong Cassidy. This famous hero thrills his 60 million fans with action and dangerous adventure. In the role of Hopalong Cassidy is the popular star of the motion picture series, William Boyd. And now, another exciting story of the early West. The Plague of Parsons Folly. Many miles north of the Bar 20 in the cool rolling hills rimming the town of Parsons Folly, the trails are steep and treacherous and a man is grateful for a sure-footed pony, lest they both become dust among the wildflowers. But the game is as wild as the flowers and just as plentiful, and you couldn't find a better place for hunting this side of Africa. Yeah, we might as well pitch camp here on this little knoll, California. It'll be dark soon. It suits me, Hoppy. Hey, look, ain't that a church down there in the gully? Looks like one. Dilapidated old place. Must have belonged to the early settlers. Why don't you rustle up some firewood while I unpack? Mm, good idea. My stomach's been crying for help for three hours. <laughs> what we ate only four hours ago. Well, my stomach's got a short memory. <laughs> I'll get that firewood. Ah, uh, while you're over there, see if you can find a couple of big rocks. We can use them to... Must be hunting up here. I don't think so. Those shots sounded as if they came from that old church. We'd better have a look. Not a sound in all this time. Yes, there's only one way to find who fired those shots. No, what do you mean? I'll make a run to the door of the church and you cover me. Yeah, but Hoppy, whoever did the shooting is still inside. We sure ain't seen nobody leave. I'm tired of sitting it out. Yeah, but Hoppy, wait! Sounds like trouble, California. I'm coming. Ah, uh, uh, we'll have to force it. Here, here, go. Uh, 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 me. Uh, Over here, California. It was awful. Don't try to talk, old timer. Uh, Get me some water, California. Uh, sure. Hey, he must live here from the way he's picked up. He's in pretty bad shape. Lucky we came when we did. Well, here you are, Hoppy. Hey, he's losing blood fast. Yeah, give him back. Yeah, oh. easy now. Oh, in mine. The man in mine. Well, what's he saying? Shh, he's trying to tell us something. In mine. You follow... What mine, old-timer? What are you trying to say? Rifle. The man on wall. They go in to my... Oh. We'd better get him to a doctor right away. Why do you suppose an old fella like this would want to go and shoot himself? I don't think he did, California. Yeah, but Hoppy, he must have. We heard the shots, and we didn't see nobody come out of this church. Well, if the old man did shoot himself, he's the first person I ever saw who shot himself in the back. Now back to Hopalong Cassidy and the Plague of Parsons Folly. On a hunting trip, Hopalong Cassidy and California Carlson find an old prospector lying wounded in a ramshackle church on the outskirts of Parsons Folly. He shot through the back, yet Hoppy and California heard the shots and saw no one leave the church. The old timer mumbled something about a mine, but collapses before he can explain. Hoppy and California carry the wounded man out to their horses and set out for town. This road should take us into Parsons Folly, California. I just hope the old fella can hold out that long. There is a house through that clump of trees. Maybe we could leave him there while one of us went in to fetch a doctor. That's a good idea. See if you can find... Hey! I felt the wind of that. You're right. It's an ambush. Quick! Make for those trees! Thank you. 
Hurry, get the old man down. All right, let's put him over there. Keep low, California. They can't see us in the dark. I know, but one of them might be lucky. Ah, there they go. They sure scare easy. Who, 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 who'd you say was scared? <laughs> you don't have any holes in you, do you? Yeah, just in my stomach. Remember, we ain't at yet. <laughs> Who's over there? Speak up. Who is it? Huh? Come on or I'll shoot. Uh, leaping bullfrogs. Uh, a woman. Yeah, and never cross a woman with a gun, California. Who are you? What was all that shooting? I'm Hopalong Cassidy. This is my partner, California Carlson. We were ambushed and took cover in these trees. You all right? Yeah, but we have a wounded man with us. Well, who is he? We don't know. Why, it's old Swede. He lives in that abandoned church on the hill, right back of my house. Well, we found him there a few minutes ago. He shot pretty bad. Well, then bring him up to my house, and we'll make him comfortable. By the way, my name's Martin. Folks around here call me the Widow Martin. Pleased to meet you, Mrs. Martin. Give me a hand here, California. Yeah. Oh. Easy, oh. easy now. Oh. I can't understand why anybody'd want to shoot old Swede. He's a little soft in the head. Nobody but a fool would waste time in that old mine. What mine, Mrs. Martin? Why, ain't you hear the story of Parson's Folly? Seems years ago, a parson named Billings settled here with his flock. They built that little church. Where old Swede lives? Yeah. And one day, the parson discovered what he thought was gold. What happened? Gold rushed that in? Not right away. The parson and his flock dug and dug and dug. They even went underground and dug their way through the hills. They found their gold all right. <laughs> Fool's gold. Oh, was that the end of them? Soon after that, they split up. And the flock formed this town and named it Parson's Folly. The parson stayed up there in the church until he died. Well, here's the kitchen. And there's a bedroom right off the kitchen. You can put old Swede in there. Oh, oh. Now, you folks make him comfortable. I'll go into town for the doc. Uh, don't take too long, Hoppy. Remember, we still ain't had any vittles. Why, you poor men. Why didn't you say so? Well, I just did. I'll fix you something right away. I baked some pies this afternoon. Do you like apple? <laughs> apple pie? If I'm dreaming, don't nobody wake me up. <laughs> who's the sheriff in uh, Parsons Folly? Connors. If you can call a man who's afraid of his own shadow a sheriff. What do you want him for? I'd better have a talk with him. Whoever drag ghost us out there may want to return and finish the job. So that's the story, Sheriff. We took old Swede into the Widow Martin's house, then I came in for a doctor. He's on his way out there right now. Yeah, Dad, Gummit, why do people have to kick up trouble? Now, this could be a fine job if people wasn't always robbing and killing each other. Seems to me it's a sheriff's job to deal with uh, such people. Well, they elected me before this gang started causing all the trouble. What gang is it? Who knows? They swoop down out of nowhere, robbing banks and stores and innocent people and shooting anybody tries to stop them. Hmm. We tailed them a couple of times, but they got away from us. Just seemed to vanish into thin air. Into thin air, eh? Well, that's very interesting. Eh, yeah, it! why didn't they elect some other poor sucker sheriff for this town? Then I could tend to my pigeons in peace. Did you say, uh, pigeons? Is Sheriff Connors? Yes, what is it? It's all right, Tim. He's here. Oh, thank goodness. Now, please be brief, dear. I will. Sheriff, my name is Alice Willingham. This is my husband, Timothy. Ah, howdy. Uh, yes. Meet Mr. Cassidy. Uh, how do you do? How do you do, Mr. Cassidy? We came in on the stage tonight. We've been riding for weeks. We came from Boston, Massachusetts. A beastly ride, simply beastly. Mr. Willingham isn't used to this sort of thing. He's from England. Uh, well, if you folks will kindly state your business... Oh, of course. Uh, some weeks ago, I received an urgent letter from my uncle, Ben Hansen. He's a prospector here. Said he'd made a strike, a silver strike. Hansen? Don't believe I know of anybody by that name. Oh, dear. The hotel, they said you might be able to help me. You see, Uncle Ben is very old, and as I am his only living relative, he wanted me to share his good fortune. He sent me a map of his mine. See here? It's called Parson's Folly. Uh, excuse me, Sheriff. Mrs. Willingham, do you know if your uncle is known by any other name? A nickname, perhaps? Why, yes. As a matter of fact, he is. You see, the family was Swedish. I believe they call Uncle Ben Old Swede. Old Swede? Yes. Then you do know him, Sheriff. Why, what's the matter? You look so strange. Well, the fact is, ma'am, uh, 
You, uh, you tell her, Cassidy. We do know your uncle, Mrs. Willingham. He's had an accident. Quite a bad one. An accident? You may as well have the truth. He was shot. Shot? Oh, how dreadful. I say, who was the blighter who did it? We don't know that, but we hope to find out. I sent a doctor on ahead. We were about to leave when you came in. You'd probably like to come with us. Yes. Yes, we would. Thank you. If you'll just wait outside, we'll be right with you. Uh, come, my dear. Oh, Tim. This is horrible. Poor Uncle Ben. Sheriff, uh, was there a stage that came into Parsons' folly tonight? Oh, of course there was. Didn't you hear Mrs. Willingham say to come in on it? Well, I guess she was telling the truth. Say, what are you hinting at, Cassidy? Nothing, Sheriff, just asking. Well, if you're ready, let's go out to the Widow Martin's. Mrs. Willingham. We all are. I wish we'd been able to get here in time. The doc did all he could for him, Hoppy. It's one of that gang's been causing all the trouble. Now, you mark my words. They're the plague of Parsons' folly. Somehow they must have found out about Uncle Ben's strike. Why else would anybody want to shoot him? What was that about a strike? The old gentleman sent my wife a letter enclosing a map of a deserted mine. <laughs> Seems he'd had a jolly bit of luck and had found silver in it. In Parsons' folly? Oh, impossible. Yeah, that's what I told him too, Widdy. But Mrs. Williams got the map. I'm going to look into it first thing in the morning. <laughs> This here deserted church gives me the heebie-jeebies. What'd we have to come up here for? Uh, just call it a hunch. Oh, you and your hunches. Uh, let's see. Old Swede was lying right about here. Now, do you recall what he said to us? Uh, something about a mine. They ban in mine, he said, whatever that means. There was something else, too. Something about a rifle on the wall. You see a rifle on the wall? Rifle? <laughs> I can't even see the wall. <coughs> what is it? Hey, there it is. Oh. And this feels like a rifle, too. Hand it to me, will you? It's resting on these pegs. Here you be. What's that noise? California, step back. The floor's rising. Oh, what in tarnation? See that whole section there is rising. There must be some kind of a me mechanism connected to those pegs on the wall. When you lifted the rival off, the floor started to come up. Poppy, someone's coming. A whole gang of them. Quick, put that rifle back on those pegs. Yeah. What are we going to do? What the folks usually do in a church. Pray. Now back to Hopalong Cassidy and the Plague of Parsons Folly. Bright and early the following morning... Hoppy and California ride into Parsons Folly to pay a visit to Sheriff Connors. But I tell you, Sheriff, I'm sure it's the gang that's been causing all the trouble around here. The one that killed old Swede. We hid behind the pulpit and they went into that trap door. They've been using that old mine as their hiding place. Well, maybe, Cassidy. I admit, look suspicious. But we don't want to rush into things and make a mistake. Sheriff, it's beginning to look to me as if you don't want to catch that gang. That's mighty strong talk, Cassidy. That's nothing to the talk that's going around town. People are wondering if maybe it isn't time they had a new sheriff. Wouldn't hurt my feelings, none. Then I'd have more time for my pigeons. Putting an end to this gang is a lot more important than pigeons. If you don't intend to do anything about it, we'll have to go our own way. Come on, California. Uh, good luck, Cassidy. If you get into any real trouble, let me know. The widow sure was right when she said that feller was a peer of his own shatter. Where are we going now, Hoppy? Back to that mine. We're going to make sure of our story, and if we're right, we'll come back here and organize the whole town into action. And they've all taken off again, Hoppy. Horses was tied off out of sight in that ravine. Yeah. And by the look of all these hoof prints, some of their pals must have joined them last night after we left. 
Well, all I'm hoping is that they stay gone. Step back, California, while I take down the rifle. There she comes. Took a man-sized brain to figure that one out. Yeah, Marston must not have been so loco after all. All right, California, let's go. Eh, Hoppy, I was wondering if maybe you wanted me to take a ride down to the Witters for some food. She, she had a whole pantry full of them pies. Uh, it's no use, California. We're going down here together. Oh, but the Witters' place is only down to the foot of the hill. The pies sure are delicious. I'm not hungry. You ain't, huh? Eh, I'm sort of losing my appetite, too. <laughs> let's go. Dark down here. Dark as night. Uh, maybe I should go back for some candles, huh? I brought some. Here, have one. Hmm. Think of everything, don't you? Yeah. Look at those giant pulleys. That explains how the floor goes up and down. Balanced by those weights over there. Yeah. Look at these footprints. The ones here in the center of the tunnel. Ooh, what about them? These weren't made by boots. They were made by city shoes. Kind of an Easterner might wear. Easterner? See, what about that English talking critter we met last night? Willingham? Yeah. Yeah. And look at these other prints. Made by a woman's shoes. His wife. That settles it. But how would they know about this tunnel? They just come in last night. So they said. Let's move on. Better not. What the. Don't move, eight of you. And hand over them guns. Better do as the man says, California. That's showing. Sense. Now march. Straight ahead and no tricks. <laughs> you might have known this would happen. Coming down into this hole. Sure. In fact, I hoped it would happen. You what? Stop mumbling, you two. Keep walking. You sort of expected something like this. We knew somebody'd been nosing around last night. The rifle on the wall up the church was the opposite way from how we'd left it. You boys are more clever than I gave you credit for. Are you the head man? You'll meet the boss. Is he expecting us? Stop asking questions. Keep walking. All right, now turn right into that cross cut. Mm, looks like a room. Gee, Hoppy, look at this, will you? Hmm, not bad. Right cozy down here. Looks like everybody has come to the party. If it ain't Mr. and Mrs. Willingham. Oh, Mr. Cassidy, I'm so glad to see you. Are you? Uh, see here, what do you mean by that? We're being held prisoner here, you know. No, as a matter of fact, I didn't know. You don't exactly see no ropes are holding you. Cut the jabbering, I'll really give you something to squawk about. What are you going to do with us? We've got some real interesting plans. The same kind of plans you had for old Swede? Maybe. Then you admit you killed my uncle. <laughs> oh, now, if this ain't a sight, hop along, Cassidy, looking as stupid as that rabbit-eared pal here. No, she here. Can't figure it, can you, Cassidy? Don't know if this dame and the limey are in on the deal or not. Oh, I've gotten that far, all right. They aren't the type to crawl with a snake like you. Better watch your Well, tongue. that's better. Oh, I wish I'd never heard of the silver mine. Silver? What silver mine? Do they have your map, Mrs. Willingham? Of course they do. They took it from me last night. What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about no map. The man's lying. They took the map first thing. You're crazy. I never even heard of it. What? Are you sure? Might be a good idea to ask the boss. Yeah, maybe I will. And you're coming along, all of you. We've got plans for you. I don't like the way he keeps us saying that. Now, Cassidy, you and your partner stand over there. I can keep an eye on you. Sure. We wouldn't want to leave now. Party's just getting started. Be quiet. You just let the embassy hear of this, my proud fellow. They'll jolly well deal with you. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I'll run right out and send him an invitation. Now, you two get over there with Cassidy and his partner. We're going calling. I got a hair trigger, so let's be careful about any false moves. Thank heavens we're out of that dungeon. We've been like this. Alice, since... run for it. Hey, oh. hey, come back here. You won't catch me. Rush him, Hoppy. Oh, no, you don't get back there, all of you. Now line up. Line up against that wall. Oh, Tim. Tim. We'll find him in a few days if the rats don't eat him first. Oh. Nobody gets far through these cross cuts. 
Now get going through that door. Down that hall. Quite a fancy arrangement. Did the boss plan this? We all planned it. Hey, who is this boss anyhow? When do we meet him? I know who it is. Last night. When Shut we... up, all of you. Up them stairs. Well, I sure hope we get to where we're going soon. I'm plum tuckered. Uh, through that door. The boss is waiting. If I have to open another door, I'll, I'll be look. The stairs brought us up into a house. Howdy, folks. This is a pleasant surprise. Surprise, Mrs. Martin? Well, maybe I was expecting guests after all. Well, fry my hide and snake grease. The widder. It's like I said, California. Never cross a woman with a gun. You should have followed your own advice, Mr. Cassidy. Where's the other one, Fred? You run out, the coward. But he won't get far. Now, I've got one to ask you. Where's the map you took from the girl? A map? What? I don't know what you mean. Oh, no? She said there was a map belonged to the old man. Map of a silver mine. She knows about it. Right after the sheriff left, she turned on us with a gun and snatched away the map. That right, Widow? Well, I... Now, the boys are waiting down by the road for you and me to join them. They'll be mighty interested to know you tried to double-cross them. Now, look, Fred, there's no use to get all excited. You and I could make a deal, yes, just between ourselves. Nothing doing. I ain't no double-crosser. But I know how to handle double crosses, whether it's the boss or not. What do you think you're going to do? I don't have the map. I hid it where you'd never find it. Oh, yeah? Well, that won't stop me from dealing with you. You planned a housewarming for these people, after which we was going to pull up stakes from this place. Or me and the boys are still going to leave. Only you're staying behind. No, Fred. You wouldn't dare. I wouldn't, huh? You just watch me. Now turn around, all of you. March into that bedroom. Fred, you can't do this. Listen to me. I've listened to you long enough. I'm tired having a woman tell me what to do. From now on, I'm running things. Now get moving. If it ain't too personal a question, where in tarnation are we going now? Into that bedroom. It's going to be a housewarming. He's going to burn us. He'll set fire to the house and we'll be burned alive. It's your idea, Wood. Only you didn't expect to be in on this end of it, huh? Now get over that other side of the room. Mr. Cassidy, isn't there anything we can do? That six gun gives him a slight advantage. That's right, Cassidy. And the widow can tell you it won't do any good to try to get out through the window. She made sure it was boarded good and solid for just this purpose. Fred, I'll tell you where the map is. You and the boys can have the silver. I won't ask any share. Only don't leave me to burn to death, Fred, please. Too late, widow. We got all we need from our share of the loot. Without you, it'll be even more. Oh, but... no, no. Fred, you can't. I'm shutting this door now and locking it. It's a good, strong lock, too. Any last words? Yeah. You'll end up in a lot hotter place than this before you're through. You remember that in about two minutes, Cassidy, when the flames start burning your boots. So long, widow. Have a hot old time. Fred! <laughs> Now back to Hop Along Cassidy. <coughs> this heat. Oh, there must be something we can break through. It's all solid, I tell you. These bricks here. <coughs> Don't pull them out. That's the oven in the kitchen. The flames will spread in here. The oven has a chimney, doesn't it? Hoppy, what are you thinking? I'd rather fry quick than roast slow. Yeah, but the flames are licking up the chimney. You uh, can't. Maybe I can't, but I'll sure try. Help me, quick. They can't do this. We'll all die breathing fire. I'm, I'm glad Tim got away. Just a little larger now. You, you can't climb into that. Give me a boost. Give me that rope there. Hoppy, Hoppy, you'll never make it. No! better now, Cassidy? Ah, uh, sure, I'm all right. Gosh, during you sure had us worried, Hoppy. Thought you'd never come around. Uh, I do feel a little like a schoolgirl, having to ask, but what happened? Well, you'd pulled Alice up the chimney by the time the sheriff and I rode up, and then you collapsed on the roof. Your pal here carried you down. Well, thanks for saving my neck, California. Oh, and gosh. don't say it was nothing. I like my neck. Oh, shucks. I, I went back into the house for three more rescue trips after that. Three more? Well, there weren't that many people. People, heck. 
I was rescuing them pies. Tim got Alice, the sheriff took the widder, and I took three apple and two berry. How about a bite? I <laughs> say he's deucedly common in an emergency. What? Mm-hmm. Uh, polite way of saying you're crazy, California. Well, it was those pies that first made me suspicious of the widow. I couldn't help wondering why she was doing all that baking. Hey, this ain't very good. What's the matter? These apples taste like paper. Let me see that. Why, why, it's the map. You found it. It was hidden in the pie. Well, I'll be hornswoggled. <laughs> I'm mighty glad we stopped you, California. Huh? Otherwise, you'd be known as the man who ate a fortune in pies. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye from Hopalong Cassidy. We hope you'll be back with us soon when Hoppy will again bring you more adventure and excitement. Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. The Plague of Parsons Folly was written by Howard Swart. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. <laughs>